Ready? Hello everyone, I am here with Griff, part of Project Griffin, my long-term mission to show everyone the power of solar and how it can provide you energy independence as well as review products in the solar industry, the energy industry, advocate for consumer rights, and even review solar companies and power providers. In this video, I wanna talk quickly about what I've been working on the past few months since I finished my trip across the country using only solar power in Griff. I've been back in Idaho for the past couple of months working hard and what I've been working on is pretty exciting. This video delves into it a little bit. I want to talk about the last solar and net metering case in Idaho. Uh, my involvement in it, I was very passionate about it, involved in it, and I've got some exciting news to reveal in this video. So looking forward to sharing that. Stay tuned. And as always, if you want to learn about solar or uh, go solar, in any state, including Idaho, check out awakensolar.com and follow me on social media at Awaken Solar. So hopefully most people know that almost every utility company in America has a governing body or a boss. And in Idaho, it's called the Public Utility Commission. Uh, as you can see here, it's puc.idaho.gov. And they govern all of the utilities. So we can go to electric. You can see open cases, closed cases, uh, anything that's been posted. And if we go to the search bar, the last solar case uh, for residential was IPC-E-1815. The application to study net excess energy from customer on-site generation. Basically, Idaho Power wanting to change how solar from uh, customer-owned solar specifically interacts with the grid. So if we go in here to the case, see all the case files started in 2018, the application, uh, a notice to customers uh, a year later in 2019, motion for settlement agreement. That's when things got really interesting and I'll get into that later. Uh, but the reason I'm talking about this is just to talk about the organizations that we have in Idaho that intervened or uh, basically said, hey, we want to know what's going on. We want to be part of what happens in this case. And so if you go down here to the intervener list, you see Boise City, the ICEA, which we'll talk about in just a moment, ICIP, which they only did a petition to intervene, ICL, Idaho Conservation League. Uh, they're an organization which I, I really support after seeing what they did in this case. Um, they actually even helped customers greatly with uh, one specific itch issue, which I'll, I'll get to later. Um, and Ida Hydro, IIPA, and that's an irrigation association, Micron even, non-party petitions for reconsideration. So uh, this was even a customer that I had met with when he was looking into solar, um, and he, he won his request for reconsideration. What this basically says is uh, that the net metering policy, which is how if you own solar and uh, you don't store all of your power that you're not using in a battery, it goes back to the grid. It goes back through what's called a net meter or a bi-directional meter, a meter that will you know, go backwards. It tracks the power that goes onto the grid. Uh, and Idaho Power in their initial filings, this is company, that's Idaho Power, all of their initial filings and, and documents can be found here. And it gets pretty hairy, but basically they wanted to say that uh, if you got solar and then you sold your house, your net metering policy, whatever policy, it, the, the net metering uh, policy you signed up under would not transfer to the new owner. And um, Mr. Kluckenhold, Kluckhold, Kluckhone, uh, it's a rough name to say, <laughs> Kluckhone, I, uh, I believe is how you pronounce it. He uh, had a request for reconsideration saying that that's not how property rights work in America. And he won. Uh, Idaho Power actually agreed with him. So that was really neat. And I spoke with him afterwards. I'll probably um, do an interview with him at some point in the near future uh, because I called him to congratulate him on uh, getting Idaho Power to admit they were wrong. Um, Rocky Mountain Power, Russell Shearmeyer, it was just a local farmer. Sierra Club, Snake River Alliance, Vote Solar. Uh, Vote Solar is a national organization that uh, fights for solar rights as well. Um, and then the public comments. And you can click on these. There were over a thousand people that uh, testified either in person or on the phone or uh, submitted a public comment. And they're just amazing. It's, it's almost nearly um, unanimously against the settlement. And so I'll get to that. So who is the ICEA? This is the organization in Idaho that uh, purports to speak for the industry. 
in this case. So on this case, we can go to the ICEA's petition to intervene, their comments, their brief. Um, Mr. King, who's the president of the ICEA, Mr. Carter, who is their lawyer, and an affidavit, and then they filed a petition for reconsideration. reconsideration. They got intervener funding. Um, but if we, let's say, go to their, their comments here in November of 2019, we can see exactly what they said and what they filed. Uh, you know, it's a nonprofit for renewable energy, associated technologies, participated in eight settlement conferences. This is important um, because at these conferences, the public didn't know what was being said. There were non disclosures, and uh, even myself working in the industry didn't know what was happening, you know, behind closed doors. And that was a big part of what was commented on by the public was that, you know, this is kind of a secret settlement that's been agreed to by these parties, you know, and the lawyers. And so the ICA uh, held a meeting. I was there, and the the consensus at that meeting was we did not want to sign on to the settlement. And the leader of the ICA said, "Well, it's going to be you know really expensive for us to to fight this." Um, and as you can see here, one of the things I want to point out is um, that the website hasn't hasn't really been kept up with. Uh, it's it hasn't been updated in a long time. Um, 2017, 2016. That was really kind of when they were active. And for the last four years, not a lot's been done. And if we even go to business members, um, I know some of these companies that are listed here uh, aren't members or uh, are even bankrupt. <laughs> I used to work for a couple of these companies. I've I've done solar for a while. And as you can see here, the net metering update, uh, their last update says a settlement has been reached. And so they actually, on the uh, page back to Idaho Power in this case, they signed on to this settlement. They agreed that the settlement um, was something they wanted. And so did Boise City. Uh, the Mayor McLean had just taken office at the time and signed on to the settlement. So you can see the, uh, the settlement document here is, uh, let's see, it's in the orders and notices, motion for settlement agreement. We can see everyone who signed on, um, some parties abstained. There was a lot of politics that was mentioned in that meeting. A lot of things were said that we can't disclose what was talked about to the industry. And they asked for a vote and it turned into a silent vote. After talking to everyone who was at the meeting or as many people as I could, a lot of companies were, were represented. We basically wanted to to fight this and a lot of us uh, or a few of us at least testified and were there all night while testimony was given uh, past 3 a.m. the night of the hearing the public hearing where the public weighed in and um, you know this is this is everything approved motion to approve settlement let's see if I can get to the section here that shows uh, the people that signed on uh, motion to accept oh goodness well Anywho, the, the parties that that accepted the uh, the agreement and everything in it, which would have basically over the last few years would have cut in half the um, the rate that customers were paid uh, for their their power. So it wouldn't pay them at the retail rate, uh, eight and ten cents. It would fall over the course of a few years down to four point nine cents and four point four cents. So would have cut in half the, the net metering policy here in Idaho. Uh, and again, the ICA signed on to this. The companies that were involved and the uh, president of the ICA apparently thought it was a good idea, even though myself and many uh, industry professionals thought it was terrible. And um, in the meeting, they didn't want to even fight for grandfathering. They didn't want to try and get the previous installed, you know, 1,000 to 2,000 customers that had solar grandfathered in to the net metering agreement they had promised. And to me, that was the, the you know, telltale sign that this was a, a terrible um, travesty for customers and existing customers. And I wanted to create something new. So um, it, that's what I'm talking about uh, right now. I'm, I'm working with some people in the industry. We're starting a new nonprofit for customers, for solar owners. Um, it will also include involvement from the industry, the solar businesses, and you know potentially even working with the PUC in Idaho Power, uh, Department of Building and Public Safety in Idaho. But basically it will be a consumer advocacy group to fight for your rights, to protect solar 
uh, your ability to get a fair rate on the um, public utility, a fair rate for the public utility power, uh, make sure the PUC does what's in the public's best interest and what the public wants, really. And so I'm excited to announce that. I'm, I've been working on that the past uh, couple months with a few people, and we're ready to get things started. Hopefully this uh, later this week or next week, by May of 2021, we will have another announcement and be able to show you all what we've done. And I'm really excited to, to share that. So stay tuned to awakensolar.com and Awaken TV on YouTube. Uh, check us out on social media uh, at Awaken Solar on all of our uh, major platforms. We hope to be fighting the good fight, working with all of the advocates as well as all of the uh, people that, that own solar in Idaho and hopefully uh, even nationwide working with Vote Solar. I worked with them a lot in the last case and hearing, and I'll be working with them uh, again to help me, you know, structure this properly and, and get all the I's dotted and T's crossed to help people in Idaho uh, get their fair shake and the retail rate for the power they generate, the investment they make in their grid in Idaho. And again, Nationwide, uh, there are organizations in other states, but hopefully we can grow the organization and uh, have advocacy in other states or at least work with advocates nationwide. Thank you so much. Have a great day.